Your doctor has recommended a chemoembolization. A chemoembolization is a procedure where cancer-fighting drugs are pumped directly into the tumor through your blood vessels. The procedure starts with an angiogram. Your doctor has requested a TIPS procedure. TIPS stands for Transjugular Intrahepatic Portosystemic Shunt. Trans is a medical word meaning through. So transjugular means through a vein in the neck. Intra means inside of. Intrahepatic means inside the liver. Portosystemic shunt means the tube is placed inside the liver. Normally, blood enters the liver from the portal vein. The blood is filtered through the liver before it goes back to the heart. When the liver is hardened from cirrhosis, the blood doesn't flow through it as well. This causes two problems. First, the blood tries to find its way back to the heart through other smaller veins not meant for the job. Usually, these veins are in the stomach and the esophagus, the tube that moves food to the stomach after swallowing. When these smaller veins are stretched by the increased blood flow, it's dangerous because the veins can stretch so much that they start bleeding. If this happens, it can be life-threatening. The other thing that can happen is that the body weeps fluid into the abdomen and sometimes the chest. In the abdomen, the fluid is called ascites. In the chest, it's called a pleural effusion. All medical procedures have risks. You need to understand the risks of a procedure and weigh them against the benefits and alternatives before deciding whether to have it. The clot dissolving medications are powerful and will dissolve any clots that you have in your body. Because of that, you will take a risk of having a bleeding complication with this procedure. Bleeding complications can range from minor, which is common, to severe, which is rare. There are certain things that place you at high risk for bleeding complications. If you've ever had any of the conditions on this list, make sure you tell your doctor. Any bleeding in your brain, a stroke in the past three months, any medical condition that causes you to bleed easily, a serious injury to your head or face in the past three months, an operation on your brain or spine in the past two months, CPR in the past 10 days, any surgery within the past three weeks, internal bleeding within the past four weeks, or an active ulcer, any recent eye surgery, an IV in your chest or neck, or diabetic hemorrhagic retinopathy. After getting a clot dissolving medication, about one out of every 100 people will have bleeding in their brain. About one out of every 20 people will have a major bleeding complication which will drop their blood pressure and possibly require a blood transfusion. About one out of every five people will have minor bleeding, usually oozing of blood around the tube that goes into the groin, which can leave a bruise. If air leaks out of the lung, it collects between the lung and chest wall. This is called a pneumothorax. If the pneumothorax is small, it will be watched over time with chest x-rays. If you're having trouble breathing or it's large, you'll have a tube placed into your chest for a couple of days while the small hole in your lung heals. The tube allows the air on the outside of the lung to escape and the lung expands to fill up the chest.